What's going on, guys? It's Dennis, the mama's boy, Douglas, pro boxer, you know all the accolades and stuff like that. So I'm going to go in to teach you guys how to stand in a boxing stance. Now, again, this is just my rendition of a boxing stance. I'm not saying if anything, if, in, if you disagree with anything, you're right. Again, boxing is free to what you or your trainer think makes the most sense. This is why you need a, a great trainer that you believe in 100%. So this is my mom's philosophy, and that's it. So if you disagree... You, you're just disagreeing with me and her, that's fine. You're not wrong. So here we go. First thing you want to do is establish whether you're right-handed or left-handed. So southpaw or orthodox. So if I'm, if I'm, I'm southpaw, so I'm this way. But for right-handed people, you guys are this way. So I'm going to teach you guys the orthodox stance. Yes, I can do both. No, I'm lying. Well, I can teach both. Anyway, so we're going right-handed. So I'm going to first stand here. I'm going to take a, a big step back about shoulder width apart with my right foot. Step back my right foot. Let me see if I can back up a little bit. You guys can see my feet. Actually, let me adjust the camera. Let me see. There we go. There we go. All right, so here we go. So going with the right foot again. I'm going to take the right foot back. About a little wider than my shoulders. We're here. Now, I'm going to make sure that right foot is me back up so you guys see my feet again. I'm going to make sure these feet aren't in the same line. So I don't want my feet here. Because you're gonna if you get hit this way, you're going down. So you want to make sure this right foot is a little out. So you want to be here with it. You want to make sure those heels are not. I actually go even a little further. I want to be about right here with it. So I want my feet about a little outside of my shoulders. And I want my right foot a little bit further out than my left foot. So my heels are on the same line. Well, 90 degree angle from heel to heel. Again, so if you don't want to be here, there's no balance here. We're going to be out here. Now, I'm working my way up to my hips. I want to take my hips. I want to just... Well, actually, I guess, yeah, I'm gonna use my, I want to use my hips to sit down. So instead of bending now, we're bending now, but we're not going to go here. We're going to use the hips and sit back. So I'm here with my legs. So again, watch it. We're standing straight up. We're going to sit back. Now I'm sitting down, and my weight is distributed 50-50. I like to have my weight a little bit more on a back foot, so it's a little bit more 60-40. But again, people like to be here, so we lean forward. Again, I like to have my weight here, back foot here. Now working my way up, I want to make sure my back is straight. Not old you don't gotta be here with it, but you wanna be here, you don't wanna be rounded over. So I have to, I wanna make sure my back is straight here. Um, hands are up here. Hands are up, shoulders are down. So you wanna make sure you're not shrugged here, but I don't, and I don't want my hands here. Right outside my nose. A lot of people think hand, this is hands up. To me, this is hands up because if you look at my hands, my chin is protected, but you can still hit me all right here. So I feel like your hands are down. But your hands are here. Now I got a good chance of protecting my chin. If you punch up here, there's nothing but nothing but that here. So I like my hand right here, right outside my nose. And then when I always like to be, I like to have my elbows in. So people do this. But if you see, if I'm standing from the side, my body is open. I'm, so I'm gonna eat that up. I see elbows out here. So I like to have my elbows tucked in and shoulders relaxed. So not here. Shoulders relaxed. Hands right outside my nose. Elbows in here. So I'm here. Again, feet are um, separated, they're not in a straight line. Sitting back, hands up, elbows in, boom. Can work our way up. Our shoulders are relaxed. So we're out here, make sure shoulders are down and back. You want to be forward here. Shoulders are down and back here. Body is turned, so make sure your hips, your body's facing where your hips are. So all I'm looking forward, my hips are still this way. So I'm here. The reason I'm doing that is if I look forward and my hips are turned this way, my butt, so my butt, my hips want to be this way. If I'm looking for it, my opponent, what I'm doing now is for one, you know, giving him all this to punch. You get what I'm saying? Because I'm here. So what I want to do is have my body going the same way as my hips. So I'm here. Boom. Now with that small, I'm still looking for it. Hips facing this way, body facing this way. Now I'll give him less to hit. So you see what I'm saying? Hips were here, but I take my hips here. I just gave him that much less to hit. Now I'm easy to hit, easy to protect. Hands are up, like I said, hands are up here, right outside my nose. I catch here, catch here. Ways distributed to, I mean, distributed 60, 40, but 60 in the back leg, I'm here. And I'm ready to go. So let me, let me know what you guys think. If you agree, disagree. But that's how I'm coming at y'all. <laughs>